outside of the WVU Coliseum. The men's basketball team will be taking on DePaul tonight, but that's actually not why we're here. The four finalists for the Mountaineer mascot will be participating in a cheer-off. So let's go check out the finalists. What was the process to get down to the top four finalists? Um, first, there was an application process, and that consisted of telling them like your major, your school activities, clubs and organizations, and awards. But then we also had to write about five essays to submit with that. And then from there, they rated our applications, and then they narrowed it down. We had interviews this past Sunday. And then from the interview process, they narrowed it down to four, and those are the four that will be here tonight. All right, you cheered for the Mountaineers tonight? Always good to hear. It's nice to meet a Mountaineer fan. Well, I've wanted to be the Mountaineer for, for quite some time now. My uncle was actually the Mountaineer in uh, the early 90s, and the university actually allowed him to bring me along as the Little Mountaineer. And if you think about it, I mean, the Mountaineer is an extremely important figure, not only in the university, but in the state. Um, if you look at other you know, mascots around the country, you have ducks, beavers, a million schools have a tiger, Virginia Tech's a turkey, a turtle, you know, and they're not necessarily anything else but mascots, but the Mountain is special. I've been getting ready for this role for my entire life, just um, really learning about the state, being a West Virginian, and uh, getting involved in government activities, school activities, anything that I can do has really been great for, um, for getting me ready for this role. So obviously you know there has only been one other woman Mountaineer. How is that affecting how you feel about the competition? Well, Natalie definitely paved the way for myself and Rebecca Funk to, actually, to run for the Mountaineer. And um, I believe that now uh, West Virginians really think that women can accomplish the goal or accomplish the, the role of the Mountaineer. So I really owe Natalie a lot of appreciation for doing that for us. And uh, now I believe that it will be uh, more of the spirit of the person rather than gender. Becoming the Mountaineer is something that you don't really uh, understand until you get into that position. It's something that envelops pretty much every aspect of your life. Um, you, you wake up every morning and realize, hey, I'm the face of this university, I'm the face of this state. Uh, and, it, and it even goes beyond that. You know, a lot of people outside of the state who don't uh, really associate with WVU see you as the face of WVU. So uh, it is, it's a lifestyle change and it gives you an opportunity to go out uh, and talk to our fans, talk to our alumni, our children at the Children's Hospital and, and you know, outside at, at football games and public events. Um, it gives you a, a real big chance to reach out to those that otherwise you wouldn't have a chance to talk to. How are you? Good, thanks. Our Mountaineer hopefuls are making their way around the crowd. They're meeting and greeting all the fans and getting to know everybody. And as far as I can tell, it's anybody's competition. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2009-2010 Mountaineer is Rebecca Durst. Congratulations, Rebecca. She did awesome. She won the crowd over, and I'm really excited for her. So congratulations to Rebecca, our next Mountaineer.